Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. Welcome to Two Minutes on Tuesdays with Charles, your weekly tonic that has the capability of turning things around. Now that's only possible when you like, share, subscribe to this channel. Sharing it means that I can then reach persons who I am not immediately aware or even within my network. Here's what, we've been looking at the keys to be outstanding in anything that you do and in life in general. Look at all the seven keys we have shared on our YouTube channel. And then let's talk about the eighth key, which is beginning with the end in mind. What does that really mean? Every time you see a pilot with all his glory and his aircraft in the sky, it looks amazing. It looks like the impossible being possible. But here's what, before the pilot takes off from the airport, he first has unique conversations about how clear the sky is and how beautiful and safe the weather is before he takes off. That is beginning with the end in mind. Beginning with the end in mind means that you are a second order thinker. There are three orders of thinking. The first order thinkers only think of the immediate action. They do not think about the consequence. But second order thinkers reflect on what, when, why, how. If I take the first step, what will I gain? What will I lose? Second order thinkers are very good chess players because before they move, they count the reason. Third order thinkers think with empathy. What will be the consequences, not only on me, but on others. Beginning with the end in mind is a holistic approach towards every action in life. This week, begin with the end in mind. The only thing better than starting is finishing properly. In other words, in all that concerns your matters and everything that is important to you, first and foremost, look at the whole picture before you start to draw. The world is filled with people who are standing. Few of them are outstanding. Be one of them. I'll see you next week.